everyone, welcome back to another video. I was gone for a couple of weeks. I had some moles removed <laughs> from my face, so I could not wear makeup. You know, I, I had literal open wounds on my face, so now I'm left with um, some scars, but everything's healed up, which is great. If anyone's interested in that, I guess I can maybe talk about it one day, talk about my experience. Yeah, other than that, I've just, I've been away because I haven't been able to wear makeup. So as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be starting my project pan. So I'm going to be doing my makeup today and basically showing you the products that I'm going to be using for my project pan. If you don't know what project pan is, it's kind of like a social media trend, I, I guess you could say, where you basically use up anything really. So makeup, skincare, I don't know, you could even do it with cleaning products if you wanted. You can literally do it with anything. So I thought I would start my project pan and maybe um, do check-ins every couple of months or um, every four months or something like that, I don't know. So I have a few products here that are going to be part of my project pan um, and these are just the ones that I really want to use up. So if you're interested in that, then keep on watching. And if you're like all things makeup, then please consider subscribing as that is what my channel is all about. Let's crack on. I have done my eyebrows already and I use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. This is such a good product and I feel like this is a brow pencil that I just keep picking up. So this is going to be part of my project pan. Moving on to complexion, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Uh, this is a nice primer. It's actually a fairly new purchase, but I've been loving it. I really have. It's so good. Like, it's just good. <laughs> That's all I can say. It's good. And I tend to use it mostly in those areas where I do have more visible pores. So, you know, in the usual, in the usual places. I've got two foundations here. I've got the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation, mainly because it matches me like it's the closest match that i have at the moment and then i have the dior backstage face and body foundation which i can use um i guess more so in the summer so as you can see they are you know not the same shade so i'm gonna use the real techniques what's this the expert face brush oh god i forget how yellow this is wow i'm not sure how long this will stay in my project pan <laughs> if it's gonna continue to be this yellow <laughs> oh god god it really is yellow isn't it i do find nars foundations to be more on the yellow side i think it will be okay once i have all my other makeup products on it will all be fine it will blend and look amazing i hope <laughs> there it's not looking so bad now um okay moving on to concealer i really want to use up my jouer essential high coverage concealer wow all my brushes are really dirty so I'm just gonna have to use this <laughs> So for my next complexion products, I've got the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush and the um, Ambient Lighting Bronzer. These I've had since the summer. They're just the um, like the travel size versions, and I'm actually starting to hit pan on the bronzer here. I don't know if you can see like the um, pattern here. Yeah. I, I have hit pan, like that is, can you hear that? That 
that is me fully hitting pan so i'm chuffed with that i just need to whoa yeah there's really not that much left okay this is exciting wow my makeup application today is literally terrible so let this be a lesson wash your brushes okay wash your brushes because if not everything looks crazy and the blush i still have a lot of it left like i don't know if you can see but it's still kind of domed so i need to definitely focus on using up this blusher okay so highlighter i kind of forgot about this highlighter and as you can see i've now got some drawers i actually keep my makeup in those drawers so when i had to go through all the makeup that i had and um just kind of sort it out a little bit and i found an oldie but a goodie this is the natasha denona super glow highlighter and it's in the shade fair and i think i never used it really because it's really quite a blinding highlight it's very icy as well and that's what it looks like in the pan and that is what it looks like on my finger swatched in my hand like it's really quite it's a lot right <laughs> like look at that it's so pretty when it came to choosing what products i wanted for you know my eye makeup and stuff like that i've said to myself that i am allowed to use whatever eyeshadow i want but i have chosen two that i do want to focus on more for just those everyday looks so i've got the color pop that's taupe palette so those are the shades i have to be in the mood to wear cool tones i don't use this palette a great deal um that's kind of why i have included it in my project pan but i'm still not going to limit myself because i feel like if i do that then i probably wouldn't pick this up at all i've also got the nubian palette by juvia's place i thought i would include these eyeshadows as well because obviously these are a bit more warm toned um there are some cool tone shades in here actually but um yeah i thought this would be great sort of as an alternative to this you can kind of see um how cool tone this palette really is <laughs> um so yeah, I feel like I'm more than happy to, you know, definitely make some effort in picking up these uh, these palettes on more of a daily basis, that's for sure. I'm going to use, of course, my very well-loved and trusted Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Today, I think I'm going to use this palette. This was actually the first palette that I used in my first youtube video i think i'm going to start off by taking a fluffy blending brush and i'm going to go in with this shade here this is going to be the transition shade i'm going to go in with this shade here yeah i wasn't filming for ages again <laughs> um so i used this shade here on the lid sort of like in the center and then in the inner portion i used this shade just to kind of highlight and blend it in with the slightly more peachy goldy shade that's on the lid it didn't quite blend as nice as i thought it would um so i kind of did have to like keep blending i'm going to take like a small detail brush and get the highlighter again and highlight the brow bone just a little bit i don't like a super blinding highlight on the brow bone but i do like a bit also want to take this shade here just on the lash line 
The mascara that I'm going to use as part of my project pan is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. I do like this mascara mainly for the wand. I prefer the, is it the Lash Lift, the Maybelline Lash Lift Mascara? I prefer like the formula of that, but I prefer this brush. But I don't know. I think I'm just going to use this. Moving on to the lip category. I'm going to be using this lip liner. I always use this. It's the Milani Colour Statement Lip Liner in the shade 03 Nude. I love this and I'm really getting through it. I'm going to try and use up these Fenty Beauty Slip Shine Sheer Shiny Lipsticks. I'm going to use the shade 05 Glazed. This is more of a like natural, natural colour. Goes with this look way better, way better than the other one would. So this is the end, the end of the products that I'm going to be using for my project pan. I hope you enjoyed. I know it's not the most exciting video. Um, however, next week I am starting my Natasha Denona series. Um, as I was clearing through like my makeup and everything when I got my, <gasps> my drawers that I love, I kind of rediscovered my love for Natasha Denona. I mean, I love Natasha Denona and I love her products. I thought it would be nice if perhaps I kind of started a series. So in each video, it will kind of focus more on the eyeshadow palette that I'm using and then talk through some of the other products that I have, you know, complexion products and lip products as well, because I think Natasha Denona is amazing and she is now coming out with a new palette it's the Circo Loco palette I thought it would be a good series for me to start because then it can be something that I can maybe add to playlists and um, then it can just be a series that I can continue for as long as Natasha Denona puts out products I will buy them okay I will I will I will. So stay tuned for next week's video because I think that's going to be a fun one. Like I'm excited to start this series and yeah, enough of talking about next week's video. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.